All right, we're back. Hey, we're back at uh, St. Pete Pipe and Cig- or St. Pete Cigars. St. Pete Cigars. Here yeah. in St. Pete, Florida. If you don't know who we are, uh, it's been Tom. about a month, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And this, uh, if you don't know who we are, we're Ed and Tom. We do uh, occasional Tom and spots Ed. here. Yeah, whatever. The Tom and Ed show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, we've been doing this for two years now. This yeah. month. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's a little... It's been a little while. Right. Yeah. And we're back on the stogiereview.com. And what are we doing today? The La Flor Dominicana Coronado. Coronado. And uh, we're doing the double Corona, 50 yeah. by 7. Yep. So it's a pretty big, like a Churchill, basically. Yeah. But they yep. call it the double Corona. Double Corona, exactly. About an $8 cigar, probably. A little more. Uh, yeah. Somewhere yep. around there. Eight, uh, eight fifty. Yeah, that's, that's what the I forgot what the rapper yeah. said. But uh, speaking of rappers, Nicar- rappers Nicaraguan Habano Sun Grown. Okay. So you know, filler. What else we got in there? Filler is Dominican Sumatra and Piloto Cubano. Oh, Piloto Cubano. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what all that means, but uh, yeah, it's just a name of a uh, tobacco. Binder is Dominican Corojo. So that's, that's the binder. Yep. Dominican Corojo. So that's really okay. the that's the blend. Yeah. And it's a pretty cigar. It's if you, you know very you, nice uh, band on it. It's pretty uh, pretty well packed, right? It's, yeah. And it's a little rough wrapper. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bumpy, I guess. Yeah. But it's, it's a little bumpy. Nothing ugly or unsightly. good construction. It's kind of like a shiny little. And it's uh, well packed. And as usual, I'm using my cutters. He's doing a V-cut. And I'll do the V-cut. And uh, water. Pairing up with water, as always. Water is always good. And uh, let's see if I can get a good cut here. Draw's a little snug here. How's your draw? Oh, molasses all the way. Really? Oh. How's the, the, is it free? Like a? Very nice draw of mine. How's yours? Teeny, a little bit tight, but I think Not I can work, I can work with yeah. it. Yeah. What about the uh, pre-smoke? Interesting taste. I don't know what the hell Molasses. it is. Molasses. I, I got nothing oh. on that. I'm gonna have to take your word for it. It's Molasses, honey. Oh, absolutely delicious. The sweetness I could see maybe on the honey side. Absolutely delicious. Great, great, great pre-draw. Yeah. Wow. And hopefully. Uh, yeah, mine's pretty well constructed. I got a great draw. Yeah? Yeah. Teeny bit tight, but not, yeah. it's not like... Smokable. Yeah, it's not okay. where it's going to be a problem, I don't think. Okay. If it is, we'll see what happens. Yeah. But I guess want to spark up? Yeah, let's do it. Just get on with it here, and hopefully we can uh, make it through a segment without somebody walking in. Got the ultra quick light with these Zycars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we both using Zycars. Got a double uh, flame. I got the triple flame. Yeah, I'll be doing a review on this later. Yeah, after. you will. Yeah. I'm going to use it for about a month and see how it goes. Yeah, okay. All right. But uh, but that's the only way to go. Yeah. With a Zycar lighter. Can't beat the warranty. No. I don't think they're going out of business. Well, so first draw. Delicious. Oh, you got some nice volume there. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's kind of sweet, actually. Are you getting a sweetness out of it? Starts out with a beautiful coffee flavor. Yep. Coffee, uh, very, very nice. But there's a sweetness, too, back there. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's probably just that sweetness in the tobacco that right. I uh, thought the, the honey uh, yeah, it's molasses. Not, it's not like mocha or anything at this point. At the, no, it's nice coffee. Yep, I can, I can, nice see, co- I can yeah. see why you yeah. would say that. Cause it, but it's going pretty good on these first few puffs. I could close my water. <clears throat> Just a wonderful, wonderful smoke. Full bodied. Oh, yeah, it, it's full body. Yep. Don't let anybody kid you. I, uh, I've smoked this before. 
and I smoked a big one, as you know. And I have had breakfast, but three hours prior. Yep, yep. And I'll tell you, it kicked my butt. Well, I haven't eaten today, so let's see. But it was such a tasty cigar. Yep. You don't pay attention to the strength of it. Until you get up and try to walk around. Exactly. Well, yep. it's, uh, it's in the afternoon, right? It's about 1.40 in the afternoon, and I haven't yep. had anything to eat all day, so. Oh, well. Let's okay. see if I get sick. I will ask you the same question yeah. a few minutes from now. Exactly. Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I guess before we uh, drag it on too long, we should want to get the smoke in our first third. and. Uh, mm. Let's do that. Do a report. Come back and see what we got. Yep. Yeah? Cool. We'll be right back. We'll be back. Which uh, was pretty nice. Yeah. Burn was pretty nice. Lots of coffee. A little bit of wood. Yeah, coffee was dominant, I think. Uh, a real sweetness in here somewhere, which I, I have to say it's a, a, a nice toasty caramel y flavor. Yeah, I couldn't. I, I, I can't. I couldn't pinpoint the flavor. I know it was sweet. Yeah. And the. Uh, the spicy pepper was nice. <laughs> right. That lingered. Uh, lingers right on your. On nose the aftertaste. A bit. Yeah. For yeah. like th for like over thirty seconds. It yeah. Yeah. So that's that was pretty nice. Pretty good. Yeah. And smooth though. Not mm -hmm. har not harsh pepper. And uh, let's see. Coffee's pretty pretty prominent there. Yeah, it just changed a little bit here with something. But the woodiness, I think, might have picked up on that last puff. Yeah. A little bit but, of wood, yeah. But that's that's kind of really all I can come up with on the flavor department. I mean, yeah, I can't think of anything. Uh, pretty nice, and, and the the cigar is pretty smooth, so it makes it even better. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's uh, still full bodied, of course. Oh yeah. But I feel, I mean, I feel okay. I'm not sick or anything on an empty stomach. So so far, it's uh, it's treating me well. But that. But the, the, that sweetness. It's more like a, a, a nice toasty caramel, you know, nice. Oh, I can't pinpoint it. And it's it. slight, so it's not very, very uh, prominent. That's why it's difficult to come up with that. But that's what I get. Yeah, here comes somebody. Hello. All right, you yeah. weren't good. All right, we had a little interruption there, but we're mm -hmm. back. And uh, I can't think of any more flavors that I'm getting out of this. Uh, other than it's just really good, it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's very enjoyable. Decent amount of smoke volume. Yeah, we've had a few interruptions, so sometimes you got to get it back. Right, exactly. Get it back lit again. But but yeah, uh, so far uh, it's been coffee, woody, which is a nice nice touch of wood, and a sweetness. And the. the uh, on the construction wise, it's the ash has been a little flaky. Uh, yeah, this cigar is pretty. Well, put, that's yeah, yeah. Seemed all good. I don't know. It's very cold out there today, guys. Yeah, yeah, We're right. not in Florida, believe me. Exactly by our standards. Oh, uh, oh, are we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's uh, thirty something degrees. For you guys up north, it must be warm. <laughs> exactly. That's nothing. Yeah. But yeah, that I think that's about all I can yeah, add on this third. Too. So we, we've been rambling on a little while. We can we can yeah. get a break and so let's go ahead back and do the second third. Exactly. See if there's any other changes out. Exactly. We'll see what happens. Do like that. Cool. Second third is done. Yep. This is about as big as the ash will ever get. <laughs> yeah. So with the coals, yeah. I'll clean it up later. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I'll rattle off a couple flavors and let you take over. Yeah. 
because the main flavor still to me was coffee. Yeah, the coffee's there. And uh, the sweetness maybe increased a little for me, as well as some woodiness, but the pepper increased a little, a little bit. A little bit of nuts came in. That I think I missed. Yeah. So I, that's where you take yeah, it. Yeah, I got a little bit of nutty flavor with that coffee. The wood, yeah. Pepper increased the touch. Yep, it just yep. seems to linger. Sweetness is there. Yeah, yep. Uh, really good aftertaste. Mm. Like the, it lingers, it just kind of stays. And that just changed from uh, water to coffee. Yep. And um, here comes the guy. Anyways, really okay. Cool Took care of the customer and. Uh, now we're back I, again. I forgot what you were saying. I, uh, uh, you're, I know you were talking about flavor, but I can't remember where you left off. I think we that the uh, spice increased a little bit and the sweetness is there. Uh, I, I do get those touches of um, of uh, nutty flavors in here, which I'm slight missing. nutty. Yeah, he said you did. I'm getting a lot of st well. I think I covered my flavors: the the uh, coffee and woodiness and sweetness. Nice, nice woody. Sometimes some drags are more sweet than others, I've yeah, noticed. Yeah, so yeah. So I don't know yeah. if I mentioned that in the last segment yeah. or not, but, uh, but that's really all I can say. Construction-wise, it's fine. Full-bodied. Full-bodied. But it, but it's uh, it can fool you because it's smooth. Right. So okay. That's, so it could sneak up on you, I guess yeah. is what I'm saying. It's, yeah. And we've been walking around a lot outside because it's cold. Yeah, and exactly. And I'm not, you know, I'm not lightheaded or anything yet, so. Well. I, I feel it a touch, no no question about it. Uh, a lot more than if I was smoking a light body cigar. E well, easily, yeah. Yeah. But it's still, uh, it's just refined and good, basically. So So I think I'm more concerned with the cold. If I do have a buzz from it, I can't feel it from the cold. But it's pretty damn good. Uh-oh. And I'm just getting a slight touch uh, after all of it. Slight touch of that uh, toasted caramel, too in here hmm. and I think that's the sweetness that you're talking about it probably is but I yeah as I, we know I, I have I don't, to say that might be I don't have the refined palate to yeah to pick up all the you know a lot of the sub subtle nuances whatever it is it's sweet it's good it's nice yeah. it's, it's delicious good smoke I recommend it all heartedly it's treating us well so far yeah and I've, I've smoked so, a few of them so uh, they run different sizes right. between uh, eight bucks eleven bucks yep depending on your store yeah, and your, exactly. your, your state. Yeah, but yeah, that's... But uh, having said that, I think uh, we can go out and smoke the last tour. Go back into the cold? <laughs> yep, go out right. there and suffer again. By our standards, anyway. Yeah. Those boys up north must be uh, saying, wow, now you got a touch of our weather. <laughs> Not even. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think, uh, uh, I think we'll hit the last third and wrap this review up. You got it. Out there. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty Son bad. of a gun. Seems to Anyways. be worse. <laughs> yeah, the wind is picking up a little bit. Yep. And uh, I guess construction first. No burn problems. No burn problems, uh, surprisingly. Ash is about the same. A little flaky, but yeah, that's the way it is. Fine. Yeah. Uh, it picked up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Strength-wise, I would uh, gather. Yeah, yeah, full body. <laughs> but I mean, but I, uh, I can feel it like you can. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. But it's not a negative. Not a negative yeah, at all. Not, not no. a negative effect. I mean, I don't feel sick or. No, I can smoke it, no problem. Right. So, but it's a full body. I mean, it's obviously not a beginner smoke. Right. No, never. So, I, if Excuse you either me. have to like full-bodied cigars or be a well-seasoned. Yeah, you got to smoker. Start you know? out with the lighter stuff first. Right. <laughs> but uh, but I definitely recommend this cigar to anyone that likes a full-body smoke. You'll enjoy it very much. Yeah. What. It picked up on a sweet spice, which yep. cinnamon, 
uh, very nicely. I think the, the woodiness increased as well. Mm -hmm. But the coffee's still there, I think, but uh, the woodiness seems to be to stand out a lot more. Coffee never went away, yeah. basically. <clears throat> but the woodiness kind of came up a notch. Yeah, it did. Sometimes, at least. Yeah, it did. Pepper as well. Mm -hmm. It just kind of everything increased. Yeah, increased. Everything became fuller bodied. Uh, yeah. But a nice kick to it. But nothing, I don't know, it's just so smooth. It's not, I guess for some people it's an ass kicker, but it, it's nice. I like it. That nice sweetness is still there. Mm -hmm. All in all, man, I recommend the cigar very much. Yep. Yep. No, absolutely. I mean, it's. It, cigar, my seal of approval. Oh, yeah, easily. <laughs> I mean, it's not the most complex cigar out there. Yeah. But it's, but it's, uh, and uh, you were telling me you have a cigar for the year. What? Oh, yeah, what? What would you? Should I go uh, first or? Go ahead, yeah. Cause everybody's doing top ten lists. Yeah. But I'm just going to do my cigar of the year. Yeah. Or at least that I like the best. And mine is uh, the Alec Bradley Tempest. Is my nice favorite choice. Because I've smoked boxes of them. I know. So, nice choice. Nice choice. So that's that's my cigar. And I have a few in here, but I'll go ahead and say the Prensado became uh, a favorite of mine. Also an Alec. Bradley. Also an Alec Bradley cigar. So very, you, very, very nice. So there you go, Alec Bradley, an un unintentional endorsement. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, here comes a guy. We'll so, edit this out. Never mind. Yeah. The guy didn't show up. Yeah. But yeah, that that left the biggest impression on me. I think. We, I'm surprised we never reviewed it. Either one of those. I will do it soon. Yeah. Absolutely. Probably the Prince Auto since. Uh, very nice in here. It really got. Turned in very, very woodiness. A lot of woodiness. It just got so much better, I, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. This yeah. is the fullest part. Yeah. And the only reason we finished probably this early is because of the freaking weather, man. It's, the weather's just. It's starting to get a little brutal out there. So. Yeah. Very brutal. But as far as the uh, the cigar on hand that we're smoking here, I say try it. Yeah. La Flor Dominicana. And, much, uh, much, much better than some of the newer full-bodied sticks. Yeah, out we're going to start our new year also here with uh, in February, February twelfth. We're going to have the uh, CAO come in again for yep. uh, our uh, first event of the year. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, and uh, I think we're going to serve uh, ribs, cool. spare ribs. Yeah. More info on that is uh, stpetecigar.com. Tomcigars.com. Yeah. So that. Yeah. I can't think of anything else to add about our uh, cigar here. No. You got any any additional notes or no, anything? That's it. And to our friends in uh, Northeast there. Yeah, I'm still here with you. All those guys live up north. Yeah, have a great year, guys. Indeed. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Keep on puffing. We will be back. And common ads yep. gone. See ya. See ya. You know what? Just don't fucking bother me. You know what I mean? That's and that's the that's the message we're coming. I can't wait for this motherfucker to.